So Peter stopped by the shop because we're going to pick the winner for last week's giveaway. We're going to uh, do another giveaway. We're also going to do <laughs> maybe a few doing? questions. We're doing a few questions, okay. but what is the other thing we do? <laughs> oh, slideshow. Oh, the slideshow. We're doing yeah. the slideshow. Okay, but I wanted to point out to him how I'm figuring this TV uh, lift top out because he, he asked me, so I thought I'd share it with you. I'm putting the back on first. I'm just kind of lining everything up. And basically, you know what, let's go ahead and, and raise it. Well, yeah, let's go ahead and raise it first. You can see I can get my hand right in here. And if I left it plugged in, yep, there we go. So what I want to make sure is that the lid is leaning over a little bit. I don't want the lid to come all the way back or gravity will take it back and it won't close by itself. So it's one of these things where, here we'll bring the camera over in a minute, but that's kind of what we're doing here. You see how that fits? Mm -hmm. So now let me bring the camera over so you, they can see what I'm talking about. All right. So this is the board that will be on the back. And what I'm doing is figuring out the position of that board by seeing what angle the lid will rest at. I don't want it to rest like this because gravity won't allow the lid to close. So this is what I'm figuring out right now. So you can, you can see that's pretty complicated. That's, that's one of those parts of the projects I haven't been looking forward to, but I'm, uh, like I'll, I'm gonna get that finished today. Uh, when you leave, I'll put that top together and hopefully tomorrow I'll be sanding it and staining it. And then it's, it's almost out the door, so. Um, is that, what's that on top? Is it Sapili? That is Sapili. Mm -hmm. Sapili's, Sapili's a great choice for the top because it's a very um, straight grained wood and it's also very stable. Uh, often with cherry you can get it, it, it has a tendency to want to cup a little bit. Mm -hmm. And since the only thing that's going to be holding the lid in place is gravity, I wanted, uh, you saw that, that's called a one by, that's a one by eight, which actually measures I think seven and a quarter. But it's a very straight board. So anyway, um, we're going to, I wanted to talk a little bit about the giveaway from last week. Uh, one of the things I was giving away is the RZ mask. Uh, I, en I did end up using one of the masks for blowing out the uh, yard the other day, and it works great. And I, I wanted to mention that because I didn't really give it any camera time when we did the first giveaway. And these guys were enough, nice enough to send me a few. So, um, so that's what one of the giveaways was. And we were not, laughing. You're going to get a fresh one. Yeah, I'm not going to send you this old one. I've got a new one in the box uh, ready to go out. So anyway. So it's that frog tape and two of your art pieces. Yeah, that's what this week's giveaway is. Uh, or last week's. This week's giveaway is, I call these uh, For Your Kids Art. This is a cherry frame. And there's a little hole in the back of the frame. And you can push out this piece of masonite. And, um, and your kids can do a painting on them. I know that uh, my kids have done a few paintings on these and they hang in the kitchen. I know that your kids cool. are... Yeah. Uh, who's, your, who's the artist, William? Uh, James, my middle guy. Uh, his, John gave him a few canvases. I'll uh, have to give him Christmas, maybe one of these. But we don't have one of those yet. Uh, so that's cool. And there's yeah. a video on that project. We'll put a link to that uh, here in the video. So if you, you, yeah, you want to make one of these frames, there is a video and we'll put a, a link to it. Good. And um, this is Cherry. This, this is cherry and the panel is eighth inch masonite. So do you want to, um, some people have, uh, along with their pictures of their projects, have asked questions. And uh, if you want to do that, that's fine too. Uh, you can ask me anything. If I don't feel I want to answer it, I just won't. But uh, we thought we might add that to this uh, part of the show. So do you want to ask me any questions? Did Good. You have Let me, uh, do you, let's pick the winner first. Okay, yeah, let's, let's do that. Let's pick the winner, and then I'll ask you a few questions that came in. So we're back to the randomizer here. Yeah, and this is, that, somebody left a, a comment that you can just screenshot or you can video, while, but we don't know how to do that yet, so I'm just going to take a picture of this with the phone. Okay. Tell so, me when to go. Okay, randomly pick the winner. 345 unique users. So we have Jared Starnes, who said he would pay, uh, pay more for quality. Uh, plywood and that's that was the question. The consensus. Yeah, the question was would you be willing to pay more for better quality? $70 was the example you used versus 50 and I'd say 90% of the, uh, the comments said yes I know I would I think that especially what's what I feel has happened uh, You used to be able to go to a, 
a lumber yard, but now the lumber yards are sort of few and far between. Mm -hmm. And uh, at the home store, if they had a uh, an option for a higher quality, and you could uh, read a little bit about it, whether the veneer was thicker or what the core was made out of, I, I generally would go uh, for for the higher grade. And I wish that that is something that they would bring to the home stores. Mm -hmm. Start bringing some quality, because uh, as we can tell from the comments, I think people are getting sick of all the cheap stuff. Sure. So um, so a few questions that came in. Uh, one, which has come up pretty frequently, the color of your barn, and was it freshly painted? Oh, that was from yesterday's video. Uh, yeah, this the, was uh, uh, Daniel Forstner. Okay, so that Forstner. wasn't, um, uh, that, uh, the color of the barn is Benjamin Moore's Heritage Red, and uh, I think, I think in that shot, it was probably maybe a year old, the paint job, but I'm going to, uh, I'm going to paint it again because I'm going to be doing some work to the barn this spring and my son Walters, um, he's going to be painting that, I, I hope. Mm -hmm. So that's, uh, that's it for, for now. I mean, we All right, keep sending so, your questions in. Uh, we're going to run the slideshow, which is about two minutes. So uh, keep sending those projects and you're going to see all the great stuff. And, you know, we're going to keep going in kind of chron chron chronological order. Uh, in the order that people email them to. Is this one going to be next week or is that going to be two weeks from Why now? Why don't we do it two weeks from now? Okay, yeah. So this will be, the next show like this will be in two weeks. Good. All right. See you Thanks. soon. We were just looking at the footage and I forgot to ask you a question or what the comment, I guess. Yeah. Uh, it, how to, to enter to win. Okay, so to enter, how to enter to win this. I'm having a hard time today. Uh, all you need to do is... Tell me what screws you like to use for screwing your cabinets together. I got a question, I think it was an email this week, and um, I, for the most part, use drywall screws, and it's probably not the best thing to use. I do tend to like fine screws as opposed to coarse screws. The, um, if, you don't, if you don't know, Peter, coarse screws, it's just like more distance between the mm -hmm. threads, and I feel that the coarse screws have more of a tendency to break than the the fine screws. So let me know what kind of screws uh, you like and maybe I can uh, start using better screws in my video. So just let me know what you like to use and uh, that's how you enter to okay. win this frame. All right, see ya.